My friends, Mario vs. Donkey Kong, the Game Boy Advance remake, is now released on Nintendo Switch. And while I would normally put my first impressions this video in my newest podcast episode, I couldn't because our great guest C.com or Charlie uh, didn't play Mario vs. Donkey Kong just yet as we record the podcast. So, all fair to him, he wants to play it when it comes out. That's cool. He doesn't have any thoughts yet. That's okay. Me, though, listen, guys, we gotta talk about Mario vs. Donkey Kong, okay? The game released, and I always give you my first impressions. Let's dive into them. Really, this one's different, guys. This first impression segment is very, very different, because normally what I do is I come on the show and I talk about the story's looking really good. You know, I'm really, you know, enjoying this game. It's a fun game. Should you pick it up? I think, yeah. Like, I do that on the podcast, right? However, with this game, it's a puzzle game. It's a repetitive sort of game. You're going into the same situation every level, which is not a knock on the game. That's how the game works. It is a puzzle game. You get from point A to point B. However, it's harder for me to talk about it. So, Mario vs. Donkey Kong is a game where there's tons of, le of tons of levels. You go in the level and you try to get essentially from point A to point B. You may have to go from point A, which is the starting point, to point B to grab a key, then point C to a door. It's a puzzle puzzle game, and in your way from point A to point B to point C, there are obstacles, there are shy guys, there are ladders to climb, there are little mini challenges where you have to throw a key and then run over to it. There's things like that in this game. Although it's a point A to point B to point C puzzle type game, I'm making it sound really, really boring. I'm making it sound bad. I'm making it sound like I really do not like this game. I love the game so far. However, there's just not much I can say about it. It's a puzzle game. I'm giving you my first impressions. Should you buy it? I can already tell you. If you like puzzle games, if you like point A to point B, if you like Mario, if you like Donkey Kong, or if you like Mario versus Donkey Kong, I would say buy this game. It's giving me fun. Now, there is a demo available now. And I will say, just the fact that playing the demo from start to finish only takes about 15 minutes should tell you enough about how fast you will learn this game. They only give you 15 minutes, which is more than enough, okay, for Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Puzzle game, point A to point B. I can't hate on it. I can't hate. Now, this is not going to be like a three hour game. It's going to last you a bit longer than that. There are more puzzles. There are more challenges in the game, but it's a very simple concept. I can't sit here and talk to you for more than like 10 minutes. This game is just swell. There's so much to it. I'm not knocking it. That's just what the game is. So I don't want to keep rambling. Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Now, I do want to bring up some of the review scores for the game because it's a Game Boy Advance remake. And I feel like a lot of times when games get remade, unless it's like a, a, a cult classic, like a Mario RPG or, a, you know, Link's Awakening or something, I feel like they never get good reviews. And right now, Mario vs. Donkey Kong, and I mentioned it on the podcast, sits at a 77 out of 100 on Metacritic, which 7.7 7 out of 10, that's, that, that's not bad. That's really not that bad. I would recommend, before you buy the game, note that it is only $50. Now, I shouldn't say only 50 bucks. Uh, 50 bucks is kind of expensive, but it's not a full-priced $60, you know, Mario Wonder type game. It is 50. They are cutting you some, some slack there. I... I'm enjoying it. I would say maybe you catch it on a sale and pick it up then. Uh, if I had to give a rating for the game just based on, you know, the first hour or two, I will give you... Man, honestly, I'm loving it. McDonald's, you know? I'll, I'll give it a 
8.8 out of 10. So I'm kind of one-upping all the average reviews there. I gave the game an 8.8 out of 10 just off the first hour or two. I'm nowhere near qualified to rate the game fully, but off the first hour or two, 8 out of 10. 8.8, .8, sorry, 8.8. .8. Cannot forget the point eight there. And that's a, that's a big part of the score. But yeah, Mario vs. Donkey Kong, not Nintendo's biggest game this year. Uh, we have yet to see what is going to release for them in the fall. We know, we you know, we have Paper Mario coming out. Like, that'll be highly rated because it's a classic. Like, you can't give that a 7 if you're one of these review companies. It'll be like a, it'll be a 10 out of 10 for, for, for you know, somebody. But I like Mario vs. Donkey Kong. 50 bucks on the eShop and at your local game store near you. That is all for my first impressions on Mario vs. Donkey Kong. It's a simple game, and I'm loving it. No, I don't want to keep referencing McDonald's. It's a simple game. BK. I don't know, like, what can I say? I'm loving the game. That's it. I'll leave it at that. This was supposed to be in my newest podcast episode. If you want to watch that, click here. And if you want to subscribe, click there. That's the video.